Hello from ITU headquarters in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined by Satoshi Miyagi, KDDI Japan, and Chairman of ITUT Study Group 9, which is our standardization expert group for broadband cable and TV. Mr. Miyagi, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Study Group 9, could you give us an introduction to their work, what broadband cable and TV means? Okay, so S Study Group 9 is uh, responsible for the television and the sound transmission over any land network, uh, for example, the cable TV network as well as the fiber to the home network. And also Study Group 9 is responsible f even for the uh, s t TV transport between the TV stations or the studio to the cable TV head end. So anything related to cable, t uh, sorry, anything related to TV transport over the landline network is uh, under the responsibility of the study group 9. And uh, to do your work, what are the types of companies that need to contribute to this work? Who do you typically find in study group 9 meetings? Actually, there's so many types of entities are joining the study group 9. Uh, for example, the, from the ministries and the regional standardization bodies like uh, cable labs, or Japan cable labs, and uh, also the operators like us, KDDI, or as a telecommunication or cable TV companies, and even the vendors uh, like uh, Huawei, JC, uh, Phaeton, and so on. So many types of the entities are joining the uh, study group now. Before we started this interview, you, you told me you've been working here or contributing to ITU work for 21 years. And uh, how has it changed in that, in that time, the work of Study Group 9? What is the past and what is the future? Okay, so the, um, when I joined the, uh, Study Group 9, uh, it was uh, 21 years ago. Uh, actually, it was driven by the Cable Labs United States chairman is from the Cable, cable Labs. Uh, so the at that time, Study Group 9 is really focusing on the very, very cable TV specific technology like uh, cable modems or cable telephony. Uh, those, uh, most of them are developed by the uh, United States uh, regional st standardization activities. Uh, but after eight years later, uh, Cable Labs left the Study Group 9 so, uh, and uh, I joined the, the management team of Study, study Group 9 at that time as a vice chair of the Study Group 9. And uh, we had a difficulty how to maintain or how to enhance the uh, previous momentum of the study, study Group 9 for the toward the study period. And we uh, discussed again and again, and we finally find found out that uh, we need to incorporate uh, s not only cable TV, but the surrounding any issues should be the uh, converged into the cable TV technology. So we said that we named such situation as a hybrid uh, cable TV approach, like a convergence of the broadcasting and uh, IP technology and uh, hardware and the software convergence and so on. So the uh, very remarkable uh, outcome at that time was the hybrid cable TV set-top box based on the uh, uh, operating s system embedded uh, architecture. So where the such set-top box can receive the traditional broadcasting TV broadcasting as well as the applications uh, originally designed for the mobile phone, but. Uh, uh, such set of box can execute uh, such application, so the such set of box can enjoy the traditional TV broadcasting as well as the many types of application. Sometimes VOD, or sometimes the communication application, or sometimes the schedule management, and so on. Uh, we that was a very uh, remarkable our outcome uh, after the uh, uh, in the new era of the study of nine. The number of services available to consumers are growing and growing, yeah. and we hear about things like VR, AR. Um, how does it affect your work on these enabling networks? How do you support so many different uh, applications? Okay, so uh, for the such uh, ultra-realistic uh, exper experience, we are approaching two, two types of the studies. One is the enhancement or evolution of the existing cable TV network itself. We are now studying the fi fifth generation cable modem technology, which supports uh, 10 gigabps class 
bidirectional communication over the existing coaxial based cable TV network, I believe that which will support the such VR or AR experience. And also, uh, we also need to develop the uh, terminal side to support uh, such the advanced technology. So the, uh, we are also now trying to develop the very advanced operating system, which is now called the Smart TV OS architecture. So both two approach should be realizing the such new, uh, very advanced type of the user experience. And um, what might be the, the standards that you're most excited about your work right now? What, what to look out for f uh, from Study Group 9? Uh, in addition to the such technology advancement, um, Study Group 9 is strongly wants to contribute the business expansion in the cable TV industry. Uh, good, I, I'd like to provide a good example. Uh, our recent approach is to harmonize between the cable TV operator and uh, emerging OTT providers. Um, not just the application of the cable TV set of box, but uh, now we are trying to harmonize these two entities by defining the actual requirement and uh, tec technical interfaces to, to connect these two entities to provide a much wider business opportunity. Uh, Mr. Miyazhi, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.